what has made you so successful in your career? And then what do you tell young people, your students at Kellogg School of Management, your daughter, how do you tell them to rise to the top in the business world today? The most important thing in life in your career is finding your passion and then pursuing it. Because mm -hmm. really someone told me that success is, if you want a formula for success, is the intersection of what you like to do, what you're good at doing, what you get paid well to do, and what makes a difference to the world. So if you are fortunate enough to sort of get three out of four, or you know, <laughs> you know, even two out of four, yeah. uh, because some people are very passionate and they like to do certain things, but they may not be good at them, or they may be good at them and be passionate, but they may not get paid well to do. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so the starving artists, for instance. Right. So I was very fortunate that um, I found my groove, I found something, I'm passionate about technology and how it impacts business. That's all I've, so I followed my own sort of prescription of focus. That's all I focus on. I only work with technology companies. And so after 25 years of doing this, you kind of become an expert. You know what the definition of an expert is that you, they know more and more about less and less until they know everything about nothing. So, so that's the idea of focus. So, so I've built up an, you know, a network and a set of clients and that, um, that, that I'm, I'm pretty good at what I do. But also it's really exciting. It's something that excites me because technology changes so quickly. There's always something new to learn. Mm -hmm. It's the very definition of sort of a learning uh, environment that you become obsolete if you don't change. Um, so. I would say find your passion. And by the way, sometimes you don't find your passion, your passion finds you. Mm -hmm. But you have to be listening. You have to, you know, you have to listen to weak signals from the universe that, that sort of sort of tug you in a particular direction. Mm -hmm. But then you need to follow that passion regardless of what society tells you, what other people tell you, because you really have to have the guts, you know, to, to pursue that. So in I like to summarize all of this by saying that if passion is your sail, you know, and, and, and humility is your anchor, you know, and uh, then, then you, will, you will sail the ship of, ship of life really well.